I would like to show you how you can uh, create a 3D puzzle. Uh, draw a square that is 10 millimeters by 10 millimeters. Use the push and pull tool. Pull it up uh, 10 millimeters. So this is a one cubic centimeter. Um, turn it into a component. You can name it if you want to. Uh, I had one by the same name and I'm replacing it. Now we need to duplicate this. Use the move tool. Move this along the green axis. Uh, put it two, 20 millimeters away. Um, and then slash two to create two copies. Select this row. Again, move tool. Move it along the red axis. And then it doesn't matter. You just press 20, enter. And that will put it 20 mill millimeters away. And slash two to create two copies. Now select the bottom layer and again move it up along the blue axis put it 20 millimeters away and uh, and slash two to create two copies of that and now you have a perfect uh, cube that is 30 millimeters by 30 millimeters by 30 millimeters or three by three by three centimeters now we're going to use these individual cubes uh, and group them as our puzzle pieces. You can make it easier or harder depending on uh, uh, what type of puzzle you want to create. Be careful that there are no overhang. You can turn them around in a slicer, but um, there should be a way you can put them on, uh, on the build plate when you're printing that there is no overhang. Now, uh, so we can turn them into a, a group of uh, components into one solid and uh, so, so you use the uh, outer shell um, tool. Now you can color it to make it less confusing uh, later on when we export them as STL. We're going to color this red and now Let's do the rest more quickly. Uh, again, find uh, a group of cubes, color them, uh, turn them into a single uh, solid. Uh, so we made that one green and uh, the next one, let's make it light blue. And the last, let's make it purple. So we have five puzzle pieces and we're going to uh, turn them into STL. Again, click on them and go to file and export STL make sure it's in millimeters again now okay so done turn them into STL all of them so make sure put them in the same folder so it's easy to find them now open them in a slicer and make sure there's no overhang. Okay, there is an overhang uh, here. You can see that. Um, obviously, there's nothing to support that when, if it's going, uh, if you want to print it. So we need to turn that around. Still, there's an overhang. Okay, so we can turn it in different directions. Use these circles um, so along different axes. So this is good. Uh, this tool will make sure it, it goes flat. So click on that, lay flat. So it's this is good. Now you can actually turn it around and move them around to make sure they're closer together. So the print head doesn't have to move too much and go to layers and check things out. Yeah, it looks good. Uh, now we're going to save it as a G code. You're done and you're